What's up guys? Baker here. I got the reverse whoosh tutorial. It's kind of weird. I didn't know what to call it, but I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot nowadays and uh, check this out. There you go. All right, so uh, let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So you're gonna have some kind of clip. Uh, normally, you don't want to do this for you know every clip in an edit or something, maybe an OCE. But um, basically, what I'm gonna do is take out this audio. So let me push LL to see where the gunshot is over here, and bring in my own intervention gunshot. And then I'm just gonna hit bracket to snap it over there, LL to check it out. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off, and um, basically. All it is is just the intervention sound reversed. That's that's it. So I'm just gonna duplicate this. Push LL and right click. We'll go to time and then uh, time reverse layer. That's it. And then just kind of slide this over. So you know, somewhere over here. And um, that looks about good. Quick RAM preview. We'll let us know what it sounds like, and I'll show you how to enhance it. Let's see. All right, so you're gonna have music with it, and so it'll sound a lot better. But for right now, I'm just gonna show you some stuff. Um, duplicate the reversed one. Duplicate. LL. If you want to see it, don't have to. But we're gonna go to time, time stretch, and set negative 100 to negative 200. So that'll basically kind of stretch it out and uh, make the build up a little bit longer. And then that makes the uh, the ending shot a little bit weak, so I'm just gonna bring in the explosion doll and snap this over here and kinda just you know slide it in. And to increase that powerfulness, we'll go to effect, audio, bass and treble, bass 100%, power, so if you got a subwoofer it sounds pretty sick um, now that warping effect is uh, optics compensation I actually used this uh, months ago for a um, transition tutorial where it basically just you know goes like this and then fades into the next clip but um, for this effect we're gonna go uh, a little bit before it, and we're gonna go down to zero keyframe. Make sure we have reverse lens distortion. Go to the gunshot and bring this up, not all the way to 180, just pretty close, maybe 150-ish. And then go a little bit after and bring this back down to zero. Push U to see the keyframes. And we can go ahead and just uh, easy ease the first one, easy ease the uh, last one, a little bit smoother. Spoon. All right. Now I added a little bit of wiggle, and uh, most of you should know how to be able to do that. But if not, here we go. Um, I'm gonna search up a slider control because we're gonna keyframe the wiggle amount. Okay. So have your slider control open. Uh, hold the Shift and push P for position, and Alt click on the stopwatch. And we're gonna type wiggle parentheses. We'll go eight comma, and then pick whip to the slider and then parentheses. All right, so the beginning keyframe for the warping, keyframe the slider, move forward to the end and keyframe this up to, I don't know, like 50 or so. And then the end over here, down to zero. So we get some, some shaking, boom. And we can, again, we'll easy ease the first and last keyframes. Okay, okay. Now, Again, we get the black edges, so if you've, uh, you know, been with my channel since forever, uh, you should know all these kind of tricks. Just put some motion tile in here, maybe like 150, 150 mirror edges. All right, cool. And that's it. And that's the whoosh, the reverse whoosh sound. So I know a lot of people asked for it, but come on. I figured it out by myself. I showed... Forgot who asked, but I showed some people. And like, oh, start using that. But um reverse intervention gun sound, that's it. Boom. 
All right, so uh, yeah, that's about it. And if you have any questions, leave a comment, hit me up on Skype, leave a like and favorite and stuff. Um, any video responses you have, go ahead and send those in. And that's about it. Any other suggestions and stuff, let me know. Hit me up, blah, blah, blah. Okay, bye, peace.